Hello there. It's Ryan Chan, the CEO and founder of Upkeep. Today, we're about to embark on an enlightening journey into the world of supervisory control and data acquisition, or SCADA systems. We'll showcase how these systems are revolutionizing data collection and plant processes in the industry. You'll get a comprehensive overview of how supervisory control and data acquisition systems function, their key components, and their myriad applications in various sectors. So, if you're part of a maintenance or operations team, buckle up as we dive deeper into this fascinating tech-driven world. Let's dive into the world of supervisory control and data acquisition systems. Supervisory control and data acquisition is a computer control system used to monitor and control plant processes. It utilizes data communications, a graphical user interface, and extended management to keep tabs on and control systems. In today's tech-driven world, the biggest manufacturing companies are also the most data-driven. Supervisory control and data acquisition systems help push the boundaries of data collection. They collect and monitor real-time data, providing an overview of how each key piece of equipment in the plant is performing. Sensors on the equipment send signals through remote terminal units, or RTUs, and programmable logic controllers, or PLCs. These units and controllers allow the supervisory control and data acquisition system to pinpoint anomalies in system functions based on the collected data, enabling swift action to be taken. Supervisory control and data acquisition systems empower maintenance personnel to make more informed decisions. They're applicable to a wide variety of industries, including oil and gas, energy, manufacturing, and any corporation that benefits from accurate and timely data monitoring. Now let's break down the key components of a supervisory control and data acquisition system. Think of supervisory control and data acquisition software as a bridge that links equipment with operators and maintenance personnel. First, we have sensors and manual input. Digital or analog sensors serve as measuring tools that collect data from various parts of the plant. They range from simple binary options, like an on or off signal, to more complex tools that measure flow rate, temperature, and pressure. Technicians or operators can also manually input data into the system. Next, we have conversion units. The data collected by sensors is only useful if it can be converted into a form that is easily comprehensible. This is where remote terminal units and programmable logic controllers come into play. They translate the collected data into usable information. Then there's the human machine interface, or HMI. This is where data feeds converted by the RTUs and PLCs meet. The HMI presents the data in an easily digestible format, allowing the employee to take control of certain pieces of equipment to make repairs or isolate failures. Finally, all the supervisory control and data acquisition components are linked together by a communication infrastructure network. Traditionally, telephone lines and circuits have served as this network, but newer wireless options now use radio waves or cellular satellites. So how does a supervisory control and data acquisition system work? It links equipment with operators and maintenance personnel, facilitating the transmission of data from the physical equipment to the operator's display screen. This allows maintenance technicians to perform tasks or monitor and control asset behavior. Supervisory control and data acquisition systems enable technicians to stay in one spot, yet extend their virtual reach to many different assets, locations, and systems. The automation presented by supervisory control and data acquisition systems allows for greater efficiency and better decision-making, leading to increased productivity, safety, and revenue generation. A wide variety of companies, organizations, and businesses can use supervisory control and data acquisition systems to improve efficiency, share quality data across departments, and better identify and address systems issues. They are used by companies within the oil and gas, power, water, and transportation industries, as well as businesses in energy, food, healthcare, and recycling. Supervisory control and data acquisition systems help businesses comply with health and safety regulations, meet government compliance requirements, boost efficiency, and save money. Supervisory control and data acquisition systems contribute significantly to maintenance and reliability efforts. They provide a flexible, scalable means to monitor and control what's happening throughout complex industrial processes, on a shop floor, or within remote substations. They work hand-in-hand -hand with reliability-centered maintenance strategies, 
which are designed to optimize the maintenance system of an entire organization with the intent to improve efficiency and timely production. Supervisory control and data acquisition systems have a wide range of real-life applications. They play an important role in automating electric distribution, identifying failures on a production floor, managing sensitivity and security in IT, and serving as the nerve center of alternative energy, such as wind-powered energy. Supervisory control and data acquisition systems originated in the 1970s with the advent of microprocessors and programmable logic controllers. They have evolved from standalone monolithic systems to distributed systems and now to network systems running on Ethernet. The development of structured query language, or SQL, databases was a significant advancement in data management. Modern supervisory control and data acquisition systems incorporate SQL capabilities, further linking to enterprise resource planning systems for smoother and more holistic operation. In conclusion, modern supervisory control and data acquisition systems, together with developments in IT technologies, are becoming an integral part of plant systems. They work together with maintenance strategies that focus on predictive maintenance, allowing problems and failures to be spotted before they cause major damage or accidents. As technology continues to develop into the future, the potential for supervisory control and data acquisition systems and related processes is great in helping companies increase revenue and safety. Thank you for joining us on this journey into the world of supervisory control and data acquisition systems. We've explored how these systems function, their key components, and their myriad applications in various sectors. Remember, supervisory control and data acquisition systems are revolutionizing data collection and plant processes, empowering maintenance personnel to make more informed decisions. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe to our channel for more insightful content. To learn more about how Upkeep can support your maintenance and operations teams, visit our website at upkeep.com.